What in the heck is this stuff? My gosh, we don't have any snow by me in Green Bay. Yes, I'm back in Northern Wisconsin. Got a pretty sweet little series of videos coming for you guys. Now you're probably gonna see this video after the ice camping video that Nick and I are gonna be filming tonight, but we're doing some ice camping tonight. We're back out on the ice. We're gonna do a little catch and cook for you this morning before we head out and do some ice camping. So super excited. We actually just walked out. As you guys can tell, they got a fresh snowfall up here. And we were talking to one of the locals at the landing. He had a four wheeler. Sure enough, we followed his four wheeler tracks over to the spot he was fishing because the spot that we were gonna go to has people on it already. So Nick and I decided, you know what, let's just follow this guy's tracks. He's got some fresh holes. Let's see if there's any fish here. So we threw the live scope down. Oh my goodness, there's so many fish down there. So we're gonna fish this school. It shouldn't take long to catch enough to do a catch and cook. We got some uh, short lunch along with us today. And it's just always a good day when you can cook some fresh fish on the ice. So once again, I'm with Nick, my good pal from NB Edits. We're gonna be fishing for crappies today. Before we get going, if you guys are new here, please be sure to go down and smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the content that we've got coming out here on the channel. Other than that, I'm going to strap a GoPro on and get to fishing because we are on a mega school of crappies. I'll go ahead, kind of set the camera up, show you guys the live scope. I'm telling you guys, it's loaded. We're going to catch some awesome fish. This is going to be a good time. So let's strap the GoPro on, catch some fish, and have some fun. Stay tuned. Well, first, uh, getting some camera gear ready. I'm struggling because there's a ton of fish. I see they're all gone now, so <laughs> thanks. But there, there had to have been, literally no joke, 50 crappies in this hole when we arrived. It, it was absolutely the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. We got live scope with forward mode, so we could basically just switch this into forward mode and follow that school around. I'm assuming they're probably just doing giant circles in this basin that we arrived on, and staying on top of them shouldn't be too hard, so. Yeah, this is better. Fish everywhere on the screen. Thing is, we're fishing 27 feet of water, so it takes a little bit to drop down and these fish are moving so fast that you really got to get down there, get them interested. Got one. That one did it. Loosen my drag up a bit here. Is it? Nice. Little perch catching cook. Oh. Okay. Well, there's the first crappie for the catching cook, Nick. Yup, on the hard bait. I have a giant school on the screen school on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and put him on the ice. Just look at that school, guys. Absolutely ginormous. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna get right back down there. I wish this I wish we were fishing shallower water because this would be absolutely nuts. But it takes so long to get down. Granted, I'm fishing with a bigger bait, but oh my goodness, I have not fished a school this big in a long time. Alright, we're almost there. I'm gonna stop probably two feet above them because they can see it. They're already racing. Oh, they're racing. Here we go, we're gonna get smoked. Oh, missed that one. There's one. God, this school is massive. So Nick's right over there. And this school is spanning from him all the way over to me. So this is like probably what, 20 feet, maybe even a little more of fish that we got going on. This guy's caught in the deuce. Oh, another nice crappie. Another nice one for the catch and cook. Beautiful fish. Throw him on the ice. That makes two, and the school is still down there. This is a mega school, Nick. Oh my goodness. This is so sweet. It's like literally pick the litter. Just go down. If you can get down there fast enough, keep the school interested, they'll stick around, and they are. This is awesome. Here, here comes one. That one ate it. That one smoked it. This one doesn't feel as big. Nope, he came off at the hole. All right, that's okay. That one smoked it. That's good, dude. Perch is nothing to complain about. This one is digging. I love this rod. I got the new, I got a brand new parent two pup here from Della Bay. This is a light. It's a little heavier compared to the pan sizzler, um, just to kind of help you haul in those bigger pan fish, those bigger crappies. So I figured I'd use it today. I'm gonna let that guy go. He's a little small. We'll let him grow a little bit, but I chose to use this rod today just because I knew that some of the crappies that we we're gonna be getting today were probably generally gonna be a little large. And uh, just the backbone on this rod for these heavier baits 
works a lot nicer. This is definitely the perfect rod for this right now. And I am absolutely digging it. If you guys want to check out some Della Bay custom ice rods, I'll put a link down in the description below where you can check them out. Here we're going to have another one just come up and smash it right away. Got that one though. Got that guy. They aren't like coming up and like completely smashing it. They're kind of racing right at it, then they stop and suck it in really slow. This one feels, this one feels like a nicer fish. Oh yeah, for sure. God, that's just a thick, thick crappie. I did bring my forceps along today. For those of you that have watched any of my previous videos, normally I forget my forceps every time and I was sure to grab it today. All right, I'll give, I got a little bit of time here. I'll show you guys this fish, but this is what we're catching. Pretty much every fish I put on the ice right now uh, in the last like 10 minutes here has been that same color, but look at the nice purples. You can see that in the sun there. Gorgeous fish, perfect for a catch and cook. So I'll throw him down along with the rest of them. There are still a ton of fish on my screen. So I'm gonna go right back down there. It looks like I can see a bigger mark. I'm gonna see if I can try to target that guy, pull it away from those smaller marks that always race right in the beginning and try to get that bigger mark. Looks like the marks are kind of starting to fade away now. So this might be my last drop. I might have to wait for him to come back. Most of that school kind of disappeared now, but that was, that was insane. The amount of fish that were on the screen there for a little bit. I'm gonna get railed. Got him. Oh, this is a nicer fish, I think. Smoked it. I'm gonna pull the transducer just because if it is a nicer fish, I do not wanna lose it. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> that is a freaking toad. Yeah, it definitely was. That Definitely is a nice fish right there. That's probably pushing, that's probably pushing 12 right there, which is a beautiful fish. Perfect one to throw in on that catch and cook. So I'm gonna get him on the ice. That puts me up to four. I think I'll only keep one more fish for the catch and cook. And then Nick and I should have plenty to eat. I know he's hungry, I'm hungry. And the school is back, Nick. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I just put my transducer back down into the freaking hole and look at the fish guys. Sorry I don't have my tripod for my big camera so I can't show you guys the screen, but this is insane. Fish racing already. There are so many fish moving through this right now. Like my screen from side to side. There you go. Did you guys see that bop? Oh my goodness. My screen is just loaded from left to right with fish. And what do we got? Another perfect crappie. Well, I just caught all of my catch and cook fish in literally 12 minutes. 12 minutes was all it took. And I got all the fish I need for a catch and cook. And there is still millions of fish, thousands of fish on the screen. This is a Selmo Chubby Darter. This, this bait is absolutely awesome. Works really, really well for perch. But I've found last year in one of my videos that I filmed last year that the crappies absolutely adore this thing. So holy smokes though, there is monstrous amounts of fish down there. Okay, okay. That one smoked it. A musky? Really? That'd be lit. <laughs> wow, this is actually probably the smallest crappie I caught today. Not complaining though. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that guy, by, that guy right back down the hole here. Go on, buddy. Give, your nice, give yourself a nice solid kick out of here, huh? Down to the depths. Oh, we have, oh my gosh, Nick. I saw that muskie. Did you see him? It's eating my crappie, dude. What? It just demolished my crappie that I let go. Yeah, he's the whole school, the whole school is going nuts. They're gone, the whole school's gone. Dude, I was watching my fish swim back down to the bottom and that muskie came up, smoked it, grabbed it. You, you couldn't see my mark, the mark of that fish anymore. Turned and then that whole school, I probably had close to, uh, I would say a hundred fish on the screen. All of them are gone. There's nothing on the screen anymore. That was incredible, dude. A few moments later. All right, well, what you guys just witnessed was an absolute clinic. Nick and I just put on an absolute clinic. I, I don't even have words. I mean, it's literally 15 minutes later after we got here and we're gonna start cooking fish. So Nick kept five, I kept five, which means we have 10 fish total, right? Yeah. To clean up. 
and deep fry. So we're gonna go ahead, get the grill fired up and start making some fish for you guys. So I'm hungry, Nick's hungry, let's get cooking. Well, Nick and I got all the fish cleaned up. Nick <laughs> decided. <Big mistake. laughs> Nick is breading the fish right now. Let's see how it's going. Looking good. I put all the fish in this bag, and now it is so full that I actually can't shake the breading. So <laughs> that was a botch on my part. I have no idea what I was thinking, but we got them. We got them breaded. I mean, this one looks pretty good. Oh yeah. We're gonna get some oil heated up here and start tossing some fish in it. So I'm excited, I'm hungry, so let's get cooking. Well, we are riding the struggle bus. I have no idea what's going on right now, if it's like too cold or what, but the propane is, I got it dumped like upside down so the propane is just dumping into this thing and I'm, I'm not sure. It's just, uh, it's not heating like it normally does. So the fish is cooking really slow, but we're getting there, it's cooking. So bear with us. We'll have eatable fish soon. Sheesh! Well, we got one piece done. I'm hungry, it's cold out here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Once again, we just went with the original shore lunch recipe today. Nothing special, just the original shore lunch breading. And nothing tastes better than fresh fish. So, let's give this a go. Oh, it's perfect. Yep. Perfect crunch to it. Nothing gets better than warm, fresh fish out on the ice when it's seven freaking degrees outside. That is so good. I know I say it in every catch and cook. Oh my God, it's so good. Well, it really hits different when you're out on the ice and that fish was literally swimming 15 minutes ago and you throw it in the grease, nothing better. With that, Nick and I are gonna continue to smash these fish. We're gonna cook the rest of them up and then we gotta get packed up and get out of here. Nick and I got a big day today, ain't that right? We do. <laughs> We've got a camping trip planned for tonight that you guys have already seen that we gotta pretty much get prepared for, get ready for. We gotta stop, pick a couple things up yet, and then we also have to make it out on the lake, get everything set up, tip-ups in, um, and make sure that we don't waste any time in between so that we can be in the right spot at the right time to catch some absolute banger fish. So hopefully we can make that happen. We're going for walleyes tonight. It's gonna be a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this catch and cook, I know we've been really rocking out the catch and cooks lately. Please go down, smash that subscribe button down below. Leave some comments below as well. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the catch and cooks next. Obviously there are a ton of ways to make fish and I wanna know how you do it and how you guys suggest that I do it in the next catch and cook. So leave some comments down below for me. We're gonna get everything wrapped up here and head out. So thank you guys again so much for watching this video. Obviously it means a ton to me. I hope all of you had a very Merry Christmas. We are definitely looking forward to kicking off the new year with a lot of great ice fishing content, hopefully some great spring fishing content as well. As always, keep living your dream people. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.